Hi everyone, it's Jessica Williams, also known as Jess the Bling Realtor. Today we're discussing inspections. Now, the most popular ones in my area. I have to give you the disclaimer that in different cities and states and counties, the home inspections are different. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, in the areas that I service, some of the most popular are home, roof, and pest. Let's start off with the home inspection. So home is a general overview of the property and its condition. So there's one inspector that'll come and do that. Sometimes there's two, depending on the size of the house. But nonetheless, you have an inspector that's taking a look at faucets, roof, crawl spaces, attics. They're looking at any and everything that could possibly be wrong with the house. And you bet that that report usually can be between 40 and 60 pages. I've even seen it larger than that. But nonetheless, if there are any things like maybe cracks that could imply that the house has any foundational issues, that home inspector will specifically state on that report that you should contact a foundation expert because again, they're just doing an overview. Also the same thing with the roof. They'll take a look and say, yeah, it looks like it's in pretty good condition, but should they see anything that could cause an issue or a hazard, they'll notate on that home inspection report to please seek further inspection from a roof inspector, okay? So perfect segue <laughs> into the next report, which is roof. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Oftentimes the inspector will let us know what type of roof it is, what type of angle it's at, <laughs> uh, what else, if there's any holes or any leaks or any indications of water damage, meaning water leaking from the roof having issues. And then lastly, the pest inspections. That's any living organism. These are just a few that I'm gonna name, but there could be more. So there's such thing as dry rot, there's dry wood termites, there's subterranean termites, there's beetles, there's mold, so on and so forth. Now, one of the most important reports that you'll receive, I wanna say are obviously the home inspection because it gives us an overview of everything. And then um, of course the roof, but on the pest inspection, it'll specify what we call a section one, a section two, and a section three. Section one are items that need to be tended to as soon as possible. Now that's something that we do look for, especially in the area that I cover, because those usually need attention very quickly. Now section two are things that you should probably observe and over time get repaired. So on that pest inspection, we're looking for anything under section one because that needs immediate attention. Now the same thing for the home inspection, they'll specify items that are okay, items that may need repair and items that need servicing as soon as possible. So you can see why these reports are really important. Now, in specific cities in some of the counties that I cover, there's this thing called sewer lateral. Now what that is, is there's a pipe that runs from the house to the street, to the public sewage system. In those specific cities, the city does require that that pipe is in operable condition. So if it needs any sort of repair, that has to be either repaired by the seller and or the buyer, depending on what's negotiated with the purchase contract. So I hope this was helpful for you. As usual, if you have any questions about real estate, I hope that you'll think of me and message me. I will see you in my next video. Bye.